Okay, so in this video, I'm going to draft the classic princess line. Um, and I'm just starting with the basic bodice. Um, this is in your book on page 122. And real quick, I'll just kind of explain what the book is telling you to do. Um, there we are. Um, first of all, it starts with the two dart sloper. So we do need to move part of this dart leg over here on the side. And then it draws a style line up to the shoulder. And we really should get the style line to match where this dart is. Um, and the style line comes down to where this dart is. And the darts kind of fall in the style line. So what happens is we move this side dart so that it actually comes up here in the shoulder that style line will make. Um, and I mean, when we're done, we're basically separating these two pattern pieces using the distance and shaping from the darts. But when we're done, we do want this new pattern piece, the one on the side, to be slightly bigger um, so that it gets eased in. So when we sew it, we'll actually be easing it. This pattern piece will be a little bit longer than the other one. So open up your books to page 122 and follow step by step. Um, I'm just going to draft it to start off to just, you know, give another dart over here. So let's see here. I'm going to probably select this dart and it looks like it's not cleaned up. So I'm going to right click and I'll just say edit dart, make it the same length. I'll say, okay, cool. Um, that should have been done already. Okay. So now I can select it and now I should be able to rotate it. And we need it um, on our side seam, apparently. I guess I'll make it angle right here is probably where the bust is. And then I'm just going to not close it all the way. So I'm going to hit right click. I'll say OK. And I think I want it to go right here. OK, so I have my two dart pattern. So let's see here. Um, I guess I should draw an internal line. Or you know what? Maybe I'll add a point to where the shoulder dart is. So I'm going to click this little line. It looks like it is 1.25 inches long. So why don't I go ahead and add a point that's also 1.25 inches. I just right clicked right there. 1.25. Okay. Now I'm going to draw my princess style line. So this is our internal line tool, G. I'll click here. And if I want to curve, I hold down command. And I'm going to go all the way down to that point. And then I'll just hit return because I'm done. Okay, cool. Okay. Um, let's see here. So now basically we're going to draw. Well, I wonder if we should separate it. So let's go ahead and separate this guy. So I'm going to right click. Cut and sew. Okay, so now we want to close this guy, and when we close it, we want it to open here, and that's going to give us that extra easing we want. Let's try that. So I'm going to select these two dart legs. I'm going to right click and rotate dart, and I guess I'm going to rotate it like right here. Okay. Click on a guide. Oh. I guess right here. Click on the side to be rotated. I guess this side. And I'm closing it all the way. Oh, and then the dart length. Um, I guess all the way. Cool. Yeah. So this is what they do in the book. And then what they do in the book, they actually take this little point and basically delete it. Yeah. And then they kind of smooth this out. So this is a, not a curved point. It's a little pointy. So really, we have basic, if you look at this, one dart is here and another dart's here. So you're going to have your shaping when the girl wears it. And then this should be a little bit longer. This seam, if we were to measure this seam, it should be a little bit longer than this one. We just need to kind of soften up this guy. Um, let's convert it to curve and see what it does. Same with you. Okay. That's kind of wobbly, to be honest with you. Um, I think we actually need to hmm, move this in a little. I think the book actually shapes this guy in. Oh, not you. Sorry. Oh, 
just this one point. I want to leave that point up there. Let's see if I have any left just selecting the one. There we are. Okay. Anywho, let's go ahead and see what happens if I simulate. Yeah, there we go. We got a princess scene here. Um, and simulate, and deselect it. And then you know, we can remove the baselines if we don't really want to look at them. What's this? Internal scenes, garment, baselines. There we go. All are gone. Whoopsies. Okay, that's our princess scene. You know, and um, you, could, you know, is it baggy on her? If it is, we could shave more out, but I think it's actually pretty, pretty good. It's definitely ready for a test fit. It's made funny, so I'll bring it back. Okay, so that actually really didn't take too long at all. And that's it.